Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and in this short video, we're going to revisit the Circle software as a service platform for niche communities, uh, and I'm going to show you a simple, I don't even want to call this a hack, because it's really not, but a lot of people aren't aware that this is actually built in to the, the, the Circle platform, so I'm going to show you uh, in one of our newer communities how to actually add a... Um, some custom HTML, which is ideal for embedding LMS-oriented content, such as uh, maybe content from your Podia platform, your Thinkific or Teachable school, your Gumroad store, any external content that you want to embed into your circle, either to sell the content or to actually include lessons, let's say, or really HTML or embedded content of any kind that you want to use to facilitate uh, learning or interactivity that really can turn your circle community into its own uh, course-based cohort, um, you know, sort of community, right? So people can actually consume courses on your circle, which is really a use case that's growing increasingly um, you know, popular and desirable with the maker uh, community at large, the folks who are actually building their brands on Circle, which may be you. All right, so let's go to new post. And all you want to do is go to advanced settings, which you can see below. and click on the custom HTML tab, all right? So you wanna to go to here. Here's a custom HTML box that people don't realize is there, right? And essentially what this allows you to do is embed any sort of content that you want to incorporate into your circle. So let's go to um, Transistor, which is the uh, podcast host that we use for our, our private podcast is uh, along with lots of other uh, recorded content. I'm going to style this with a dark player. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard and I'm going to go back to the circle and I'm just going to paste this in to the custom HTML player. I, or, I'm sorry, yeah, to the custom HTML box. I'm going to add a little bit of of styling to it. So let's Add a, a P tag and I'll say below you should see a fully styled podcast player. All right. So again, make note that we're not embedding this into the content itself, the content host body. We're just going to say uh, this is the post body content so you can differentiate this from the poorly spelled content below. All right, so I'm going to save this and here you go. Now we have this full player with all the styling and all of the um, you know, everything that Transistor gives us, right, with via our podcast embedded in Circle. Now, you can't do this within the post editor itself. So there's no way to embed this content within the post editor without using this custom HTML box. Now, there are some styling things that I'd still want to clean up about this. So let's go into here. And let's bring up the different options that I have in the editor itself. And we'll add a divider. And now I'll save the changes. And you'll see a little bit more styling. All right, so let's go back into this again. It still doesn't look visually great. And let's remove the P tag that I added. All right, and now it's starting to look a little bit better, right? So now you have this 
podcast that I just recorded on May 1st, I think. Nature loves carriage. All right, and it can now be embedded directly within Circle. And if this is a private podcast, you can actually use private spaces to, you know, add the aura or the appearance of exclusivity to the content that you're actually protecting within your circle. So if I make these podcasts or recordings all, um, you know, they're all private and they're not publicly available via an RSS feed, it's an easy way to incorporate premium content that is educational oriented or education oriented within your circle um, and, you know, without, um, you know, having to really play with the editor itself. Again, the editor in circle is great, but they only allow you, like there, there's, there are limits to what you can actually include. So let's look really quickly and you can see, you know, there's Spotify, there's Simplecast, which we also use. Um, there's SoundCloud, but I don't want to put a SoundCloud audio in a private space and then sell access to that because SoundCloud is public audio, right? Spotify, you know, as of the very tail end of April 2021, is starting to allow you to sell members-only content, but generally Spotify content is publicly available. All of Simplecast allows you to privatize your audio, which means that you can sell private uh, or you can you can you can protect your audio from a public RSS feed, meaning you can charge for access to it on a private community like Circle. But most people aren't using Simplecast. So most people are using the vast, you know, sort of hodgepodge of available podcast platforms and players. And this is where this advanced setting thing comes in really handy because this will accept any podcast uh, platform that gives you an iframe, right? It'll, it will allow you to embed Gumroad content, Podia content, um, you know, uh, buy me a coffee content. I don't know if Teachable offers a a um, iframe. I'm sure they probably do. I don't use them. But all of those platforms as well allow you to incorporate some of your lessons right within your circle, which is really a transformatively, uh, if that's a word, a transformative thing for your content, your community, your clients, your students, your subscribers, etc. And again, all the magic happens using this cu custom HTML uh, feature. All right. I think I've droned on long enough. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. Thank you so much for uh, watching, and I'll talk to everyone soon.